We are live. We are live. Oh. Bring the yeah. energy. We are a live. I mean, that's a good thing too. We we do want to be alive. A live. You want to be alive. This is a live stream. By the way, welcome, Player 4 Podcast, May 2018, live stream. And I'm definitely, like, doing the whole welcome to the gun show thing poses in my chair like Night at the Museum, because I can. Leave me alone. How are you guys? I am Tristan, a.k.a. Shagrazir, on the Rooster Teeth website. I am Alex, a.k.a. Chaos Black 21. And I'm Malachi, a.k.a. Sukukiba. You said and, Malachi. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm Joseph. Sorry, I got confused for a second. <laughs> and I'm Rick Guerrero. That's wrong, too. <laughs> Plus, you need to, like, <laughs> eat your you need to like eat your mic as you shout that. <laughs> you, did, you did a good Malachi, though. <laughs> I'd like to. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> wait till RTX. That he's not going to be at episode zero, guy. Oh episode god, zero. no, no! Oh, Dangerously god. close. Do not bring us there. I don't. I don't think you could get much closer to episode zero. I no. It's definitely a lot. It's very possible to get a lot closer to episode zero. There's, there's, there's really. I'm really hoping that you guys have forgotten the content of episode zero because if we ever get there, we're going to burn. In, in every level of hell, one at a time, and then backwards again. You feel very strongly about this. I really, it was a very difficult thing to sit through. <laughs> it was our, it was a trial run. It was, it was, it, that way. <laughs> it was a trial run. Man, I am, I am actually really hot right now, so I'm gonna turn myself down. I Hi, was, are Tristan. No, shut up. I was pushing, <laughs> I was pushing into the red. Which is way above what you're, where you guys are coming in. That's not good. Okay, so yeah, no. It was a trial run that almost had me right out the freaking door. So <laughs> that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been a good thing. Okay, well, I'm going to fully introduce myself. I'm Joseph, and on the Rooster Teeth website, I am Jay Dunlap. Welcome, Joseph, a.k.a. Jay Dunlap, on the Rooster Teeth website. How are you I'm today? I'm a regular guest on this podcast. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, you are the regular yeah, guest. Yeah, regular guest. He's, he's what I was going to be at the beginning of the freaking... Yeah, I don't know how this <laughs> happened. Something something happened and the whole world went topsy-turvy on me. We don't have a Malachi today. We are the Player 3 podcast because Malachi yeah, yeah, yeah. is attending a funeral, which is a very somber occasion for a very close family member of his, so we wish him the best uh, and we hope that um that the, his grieving period is expedient and not terribly painful but yes on to happier topics what uh what's what 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 have we what it was infinity war came out there's been a lot of crazy things going on lately right infinity war came out and i i slept the other night which was great is that is that unusual it is uh, it is uh, it was supposed to be one of those humble brags I got like, Congratulations. I got like seven hours of sleep. Whoa. Yeah. Hashtag humble Whoa. brag. So yeah, I'm going to see Infinity Wars tomorrow. Woo. So by the time this comes out, I will have seen it at least once, maybe twice. That's impressive. So what about three times the lady? Jesus. You don't know. Wait, what? Hi. <laughs> no. Alex, why? So then that means Tristan will be the only one who needs to watch it. Yes, and at this very moment, I don't have a plan for that. I am playing it by ear, because I am very concerned about actually being able to get into the theater and then enjoy it, because the bow tie near where I live, where I see most of my films these days gets incredibly crowded and to the point that there's nowhere even to park um when these mcu films release so um i've been trying to give it some space you know get past the opening weekend get get past the couple weeks following that where everybody else who's trying to avoid the opening weekend goes and floods the place um but I do want to see it. I've heard I've heard such mixed reviews about it. It's so weird. I don't know if I don't know if this is some conspiracy where 
people have agreed to say bad things about it <laughs> so that people go in with lowered expectations. I don't know. I've heard mm -hmm. some people just raving about how amazing it is. And luckily I've gotten almost no details, but it's just like, I don't even this. And, and it'll be like longtime fans of the MCU who are always telling me how great they tend to do with their films, especially when compared to other, um, attempts at making films like these and, and they'll be like ah, i did this and that i wasn't uh. i'm like really i never expected to hear you say that it's like so i really don't know i really don't know guys i haven't yeah. heard a single bad thing about the film really not not from my sources which is just the social media i've managed to accidentally see yeah and in fact, I've had at least two things spoiled for me from people who don't realize that that sharing memes is, in fact, a spoiler. Yeah, that's those guys are bad. Um, I know of at least one thing that people weren't I that people aren't uh, that are kind of questioning that they didn't really like that happened. But that's for whenever we end yeah. up actually discussing it. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, it's it's been interesting hearing the the mixture of reviews that at least I have. I, I wasn't anticipating that. Message. Well, I will definitely share my spoiler three f spoiler three spoiler free thoughts Spo on it. My spoiler three. <laughs> you want to talk about <laughs> the spoiler <laughs> three? Time Make you it fun of me. Me. I'm going to share my thoughts on it after I've seen it, but I'd very much like to hear Alex's spoiler spoiler free review. Oh. Can, you want me to get can, my can you review, review it without spoiling anything else? Can it be done? I want Tristan's spoiler-free review because he can't possibly spoil it. All right, so this was great. The movie started off, the opening was impressive. The musical score, like nothing I'd heard at any other film. They used kazoos, and this is this was very daring. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. Blew my mind. Was it like that one seat in Men in Tights? Better than Men in Tights. Like Men in Tights, that was the opening act. This, the finale. That's my entire review. So, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, spoiler for your review. I, I really enjoyed it. And I, I think they did a great job with Thanos. Um... He's probably the best villain that they have had, which kind of makes sense that he would because like they've pretty much led up to this point. Like we've all been waiting for Thanos. So it would be terrible if it was a letdown, but it's not. Um, I just remember when they revealed that Ron Perlman was going to be playing him. <laughs> Like they showed his picture. They showed the picture of Thanos. I don't. They didn't think they said his name, and I just went. That looks like Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman is playing Thanos, but it's not. So the question is, did he hit them with his Hellboy stone hands? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me it's not Ron Perlman because it looks exactly it's, like Ron it's, Perlman. No, it's, it's it's CGI, but it's Josh Brolin is the who the fuck Thanos. is Josh Brolin? <laughs> Um, but, uh, I was a little worried going into it because the trailers, the way that they made Thanos look, I absolutely hated. Like he looked pink and like skinny head, like basically like cone shaped head <laughs> and all that. And it looked terrible. They cha they fixed it to, I, I actually did not mind. I, I, I kind of liked how he looked in, in the actual movie. So they, they did change it from the, <laughs> <laughs> the trailer that they had. I was so thought. convinced after seeing that trailer that it was going to be Ron Perlman. I've been basing my entire opinion of this film on that fact. No, it's Josh Brolin. God, you did more research than a lot of people. Who? Uh, him? Um, Not me. Yeah, I, I, it's, I, it's two hours and 29 minutes long, um, but it doesn't feel like that. Uh, it's good pacing, um, good fights, and I look forward to seeing it again. So I heard that they did a good job with having a huge cast of characters and a lot of things to do, but it just it happens and, it, and it's done well. And as you said, the pacing is really good. Uh, in that way, it almost feels like it accomplished what Age of Ultron tried to to accomplish which was half different story threads and just sort of it fell apart yes um i 
I think I can because it's not a spoiler. So like what I it's technically not a spoiler what I'm saying <laughs> that people are uh, complaining about. Technically, it's um, very so I'm going to say it here. Uh-oh. Uh, and I think it's it's kind of understand somewhat understandable, uh, and the fact that you have so many people uh, in this movie that to get enough screen time for everyone is is almost kind of impossible uh, because there's so many things. But the problem is is that uh, a lot of the female cast kind of did not kind of did not make that cut so they're they're the ones who kind of got screwed in this where they didn't get a whole lot of of screen time a lot of lines and so that's what people are kind of backlashing a little bit about oh that's not good because they've introduced a lot of really great female characters and to not yeah make good use of them as yeah like black widow barely any lines um and then like like the some of the black panther cast uh like koye and uh like his sister and all that they didn't get that many lines uh, but Michonne. Um, like the only major one well i'm not even gonna say that um but so th- yeah they really didn't get a whole lot of stuff and so we're hoping maybe the next movie will will help with that but we'll see because like, we don't know what the heck's gonna be in the next movie I kind of do, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna well, spoil. from why well, I appreciate it, but from what I remember, it was going to be Infinity War, Infinity War, Infinity War Part One, and Infinity War Part Two, and then at some point in the planning stage, they decided they didn't need a Part Two. That what was going to be Part Two was just a continuation in some other way. And I well, imagine after you've seen the movie, we would know what that might possibly be. Yeah, they they took that away because. They, I mean, it's kind of like how they've done here so far. Technically, all the Avengers, uh, they even called this one, a, a lot of people call this one Avengers 4. They, you could technically, all these Avengers are technically sequels of each other because they're all happening. Yeah, they're all on the same story, uh, the uh, other, timeline. But, but they don't want people to actually think of them as sequels of each other. So this, when they did that, they're like, wait a second, we don't want people actually thinking this is still Infinity War going on. So they took that off and now they are going to give it a different title, but they haven't released that yet because apparently it's going to be a, a huge spoiler for what what it actually is about. No, don't let them know what they're getting going in. Yes, but I'm excited. But you recommend so like people Mass watch Effect it. Andromeda. Yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda. So you recommend let people know what they're going to get until they get it. <laughs> then, <laughs> then watch them Sorry. question things as their character's head turns full around. <laughs> uh, but Avenger, the next Avengers film doesn't come out until next May. So just under a year from now. Actually, no, actually, it's going to be a the, year it's from gonna be, tomorrow. It's going to be May. When you, yeah, can you put up the it's going to be May picture when you when you say that in the video? Oh, the, the uh, what, which, which oh, it's going to be a live stream. Right? It's, no, it's NSYNC. NSYNC. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be a live stream. It, I'm not going to uh, do that. <laughs> Tristan just has to do it now. That's all. What? It's going to be May. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a really good meme for that today, which was Overwatch themed because there is a character named May and she has a beekeeper outfit. Just uh, says yeah, it's gonna, and then it shows her. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be in May. Uh, we have Ant Man two, uh, Ant Man and the Wasp coming out in what was that June or July? I don't know. Pretty sure next year we're also getting Captain Marvel. And at uh, some point we're yeah, getting Squirrel Cap- Girl. Captain Marvel is happening in March. Uh, Venom is coming out uh, later this year. And they've already... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 has already been announced. And a new Sp- and a Spider-Man Homecoming sequel is also announced. You brought up Venom, so are we just talking about good movies coming out? Or are we talking like Marvel that's not necessarily MCU? Uh, Marvel, not necessarily MCU, uh, cause Deadpool is also so, coming like, out here Deadpool in two. like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Deadpool 2 is coming out in two weeks, which I'm excited for, but they had a trailer for Venom before Avengers. And that's kind of the first time that I really looked at this movie like in detail and I'm liking what I'm seeing. You're right in what you see in. I, I, I said, I'm liking 
I'm sorry if Skype screwed up. It made it sound like I said I'm Riken. No, I was making a pun. I was making a pun on Riken, your D and D character. Uh, Just everybody loves it. Riken. It's okay. Oh no! I, I, mean, I, I kind of thought about that, but I was like, I don't know if he's doing it because of that, or if, <laughs> like it literally sounded like I said Riken. How long have you known me? Um, um, quite a few years now. Few like, so if there's ever a chance that I'm messing with you. Go with that option. Like six years now. Who are you again? Jeez, it's a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's been six RTXs that we've gone to. Five of them. Really? Five of them we've actually gone together. One of them we played phone tag. <laughs> phone. Let me think. Uh, my daughter was born right after I went to my first RTX. So this would be our fifth one together, wouldn't it? Um, this is my fourth year as a guardian, and I did two, um, just as an attendee. And the first one I went to as an attendee was the one that we couldn't find each other. Maybe I just fail at math. Maybe you weren't counting the first one because you didn't meet up with him. No, I remember. Oh. If Sarah's turning five, she was at 1.0. No way. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Ah, numbers. <laughs> Math I forgot to numbers. count like a ma- like a musician. Yeah. So if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. No uh, musical intervals. The number starts at the first note, uh-huh. and then it, it stops at the second note that you're trying to get to. Gotcha. Whereas if I'm saying how far I need to walk and it's ten feet, I'm not going to go. Well, I'm currently on the first one, so it's eleven. Mm-hmm. And that's the way that music works. It gets worse when you start adding intervals because then you start taking numbers away or adding numbers depending on what you're trying to do. Oh, no. It gets worse. Oh, God. In fact, I was making fun of a student today who screwed up on normal math, and I was like, you've been in my class too long. So I I killed the podcast. Yeah, you did. Talking about your daughter kills the podcast. Why would you do such a thing? Does she have a beard yet? Um, No. Damn. So my daughter has been doing this thing lots of things like punching her brother that kind of thing you know fun stuff but she's started to say she only likes me when it's nighttime so she can kiss me but otherwise she doesn't like me and she only likes mommy in the morning and she doesn't like her at night (laughs) it's like night and day with you two (laughs) <laughs> yeah she's like i only like girls and i I only like you at nighttime when i kiss you I'm like okay yeah. whatever the truth she's hurts. four almost five for <laughs> contacts and the truth hurts she's Joseph. finishing up pre-kindergarten she can sign her own name she can do simple addition she can she can spell words oh like i don't know what they're doing she's in this kicking class, your son's ass this time She's going to get out of pre-K with, like, a PhD or something. I don't know what this teacher is. <laughs> this teacher is like, you need to get this teacher to have helped your son, like, two years ago. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's that she has Michael as an older brother as well. So she's always chasing his tail. Mm-hmm. And whereas he hit kindergarten with a little bit of a learning disability, mostly because he was way more premature than Sarah was. And also he didn't hit an age of maturity, which for him was age six until he was almost done with kindergarten. Yeah. And then Sarah's just not having that issue. First off, she's a girl mm. and, and she wasn't as premature as he was. And she's got him knowing all this stuff that she wants to know. Mm. Not only that, but as you say, her teacher's amazing. Yeah. She can spell her name with her hand. She yeah. can sign her name. That's really impressive because I can still so, remember when I was down in Texas and, 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 Michael was still struggling with reading letters, much less making them. Yeah, and now he's playing Magic the Gathering with me and reading his cards out loud. There Being you go. homeschooled really helped him out a lot mm. for his first uh, for he first needed, grade. He needed something he could that could hold his interest. He was really the short attention span of being young and excitable, but he needed something that he could sit down and hold on to and feel excited about succeeding at. I think the Magic cards helped, honestly. We did a lot of Star Realms last year. I would come home from work for my lunch break, and since he was at home, we would play Star Realms during my lunch break when I was done eating. And that helps him with his addition and subtraction, it would help him with his reading. Then he picked up Pokemon right at the end of first grade. And now he's like, let's play Magic. And he wants to play Hearthstone. We play Hearthstone a lot together now. That's the recent thing, actually. All right. My father likes son. You're right. Uh, Hearthstone has a new mode, by the way, that's actually quite fun. It is called Dungeon Run. So in Hearthstone, 
Hearthstone, much like MTG Arena, which is the new Magic platform that's separate from Magic Online, you have to grind to get your cards. However, in Hearthstone, if you don't like the cards you open in your packs, you can disenchant them for all intents and purposes and then use that dust to make other cards. You just It's like... Um, it's like selling magic cards to a gaming store. You're not going to get it for full retail. So you might get half the value that you can then put towards like two rares could get you a rare sort of idea. Well, first off, MTG Arena is going to be just loot crates with no trade in or anything like that. It's horrible. You can spend a hundred bucks and never get the card you want. So let's just not even go there. Uh, Hearthstone, you know, so you're grinding and you're making your deck. And then you go play against other people. So you have to have leveled up your class to earn all the class cards, which is easy. Only takes about a few days to get all the classes unlocked and leveled up. And then you have to grind. Well, uh, the new mode, Dungeon Run, you don't have to. All you have to have is unlock the class. You play it in Dungeon Run, and it builds your deck while you're playing against different bosses. It'll say, okay, what do you want? You want these cards or these cards? You're like, I want those cards. And you put them in your deck. And it goes, you want this passive where your minions cost one less, or you want this passive where your hero power is better, or you want this passive where nothing costs over five, which is really busted. I had three Lich Kings in play at one time. That's not. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That sounds like it's a little poorly balanced, that last one. (laughs) No, I I did some insane stuff, and unfortunately, I forgot to record it, so I was live streaming on the p on i think on the p4 account me playing hearthstone and i pulled over to the youtube account and there was two games i hadn't done yet two bosses i hadn't defeated yet and then i went home and i was hanging out with michael and i defeated them with michael and gina they're watching and the next day i went i was supposed to record that oh Uh, no joseph i had three lich kings and lich kings uh, the Lich King's ability is at the end of your turn, he, he gives you a Lich King related card in your hand. But I had three, three Lich Kings. <laughs> and then one of them had been out there for a while. So I got an addition. I, I only got one card from him at that point. And then the other two just sat there and gave me advantage, card advantage, the entire rest of the game. I got Frostmourne, which uh, Frostmourne, when you're done using it, its death rattle is that you summon every minion you killed with it. Oh, no. But I oh, no. <laughs> This is the gift that keeps on killing your enemy. Yeah, so if you're curious about Dungeon Run, go check out my video. You know, it's a plug. Go check out my video of me playing Dungeon Run as a paladin, because I love love playing as a paladin. I'm really good with paladin. And it's really interesting. It gives you, okay, what do you want for a one-cost spell that's busted? Like, Michael chose one that, for one mana, he could play out all his minions in one turn. Yeah, yeah. So we built around that, and he only lost when he couldn't draw that card. <laughs> we, we built around it, I say. Yeah. That's important, because if he doesn't draw the card, he's got a whole bunch of eight-cost cards in his hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he get, got real ridiculous, because he brought up this dinosaur that copies every card that you draw. That is so it's Uther. A lot of fun. Uther is the, is the uh, paladin. Yes. Yeah. So it, basically, it'll be like, you want this busted card, you want this busted uh, passive ability, and also, you know, let's fill out the, your deck. Your deck is only 15 cards. Let's add some cards to it. Okay, which three cards do you want? These three cards, these three cards, or the, these three cards? And they had different themes. So when I was playing as the Paladin, the moment I unlocked the passive that nothing costs more than five, I always chose the legendary packet, which was three legendaries that cost over five. Because there was no way I wasn't going to be able to play them by turn five. And and I point that out because when I played Hearthstone, what, a year or two ago, it wasn't that that mode wasn't there yet. So you had to just unlock cards and play or you'd have to do arena and hope you didn't get screwed over with the with the cards that it gave you. It's the limited Mm -hmm. formats or Brawl, which was always fun. Brawl was always busted. Like there was a, a version of Brawl where your entire deck was just iterations of the same two cards. See how busted you could get. Goodness gracious. It was, it was fun. Uh, this gives you a new way to play without having to unlock stuff, and your deck just does incredibly busted stuff because <laughs> it's just you against the computer. Yeah. So that's my Hearthstone segment. Yay! Plug the Hearthstone. I wow. plug, plug the Hearthstone. Plug it good. <laughs> I feel like I, I, it's obligatory at this point to ask, if there are there any new Dunla apps? Well, I suppose it would be Hearthstone, but I'm not playing out of my phone. Yeah. I don't have room on my phone. 
song. Okay. I did mention Pokemon Revolution online, didn't I? Mm, did he, Alex? I don't remember that. I don't remember okay, that either. I have a new Dunlap recommendation, guys. Sweet, there it is. Okay, there's a lot of, of fan-made MMOs based on Pokemon. Most of them are the early gens. Mm-hmm. And I just looked up. I was bored. I wanted to play one. Dang it. And I looked it up, and I found the best one, Pokemon Revolution Online, which I have on my computer and I have on my phone. And you're just running around doing the, the early gens, but with some tweaks. Tweaks. Like Team Rocket has cameos. Ash has a cameo. You actually battle Team Rocket at one point, and you're like, oh, look, it's Arbok. Sweet. Uh, you, you battle Ash's Pikachu, and I got my, my can handed to me. Uh, and there's a bunch of other people walking around and you can see their names above their head and you can see whatever the active Pokemon is walking behind them. Just like Ash and Pikachu and Pokemon Yellow. So I'm walking around and I've got a Diglett behind me right now, but it just depends on whatever's front in the lineup. Otherwise, it's the same game. There's just It's a lot of improvements, such as XP boosts for basic Pokemon or weak Pokemon. I bought Magikarp from the Magic Magikarp salesman, and he taught her to move that was basically fly. So I just did battle after battle where I one shot stuff and got tons of XP. Next thing you know, I've got a Gyarados. Nice Gyarados are awesome. That's one of my favorite fish. Yep, it's dragonfish. It's, it's dragonfish. I have a Gyarados doll. Did I get? Did I tell you guys that? There's a lot I probably haven't told you guys because because uh, we've always been busy and like I keep missing. Tristan's typing. No, it's what not true. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Tippity tip, tip, tip. Uh, while I'm talking, because I'm going to let Alex and Tristan talk, I wanted to just mention that I got accepted as a magic judge for Grand Prix Las Vegas. Yay! That's got to pay out, right? Because you got to send you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they don't pay for travel, but they pay. They pay, better, they pay better than Star Trek games, which is who I worked for in March, in mid-March. This is going to be mid-June, I think, or early June, around there. Mm-hmm. I think the second weekend, around there somewhere. I don't know. Um, a friend of mine, Brandon, actually, who I travel with all the time, got accepted for four days. I got accepted for two, and I'm not salty at all. <laughs> Except, you know, I don't get paid for days I don't work. And then another guy that we know from Oklahoma got accepted for four days. And we're going to try and figure out our, our housing situation. A guy I mentored to become a judge that I've known for, for some years now is going to go to play. So I told him, when you scrub out, we'll go hang out in Las Vegas. And he looks at me and I'm like, when, after you win the first event and you don't want to win the second one, we'll go hang out in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going with his future fiance. And, and she's not going to listen to this, so she doesn't know. Oh. And I didn't even say what his name was. <laughs> No so one we're just going to hang out in two days together. I'm not judging. Uh, basic, but the pay is almost double what I was making at the other event I worked, where I was just getting paid based on being L1, because those are opens. Those yeah. are Star City Games opens. And this is Channel Fireball Grand Prix. And they give you a set rate based off your job and not your certification. Okay. So I'm getting paid right between what an L2 to L3 would be getting by SCG, plus okay. a box of booster packs. But is that is that enough to pay for the travel and the hotel? Like, and I really, I, I honestly think I'm going to be breaking even. Okay. But it means a lot to me that I got chosen because that means there's there's a good potential of getting chosen and being given more days in the future. Yeah, it is sad that they only like. Why would they say yes to you and then only say two days when it's like the convention's four days long? <laughs> it totally is, and there's setup and there's teardown and all of that. And the only difference between my application and Brandon's application was I didn't volunteer to do teardown or setup. They didn't give him teardown or setup, but he insists that's the difference. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. I Remember to volunteer for it next time. Right. Volunteer for things you don't intend to do. <laughs> and then you'll have to do it. You might. Because it's me. Yeah. But, I mean, you'd still get paid for it regardless. It's true. True, I would get paid for it. Then you wouldn't be. Anyway, I'm excited about that. (laughs) And there's a a bunch of other things I've applied for this summer. I applied for an ICG regional. I applied for a convention. Who knows? Maybe I could work RTX. I don't know that they ever have Magic the Gathering at RTX, but I know they had Munchkin at one point, so Mm -hmm. it's not far fetched. Get you on that dungeon drunks thing. If it was far fetched, it would be hitting Psyduck on the head until he gets gets a headache. With With a leak. With a leak. Uh, dungeon drunks, huh? 
I don't know. That's not quite the same thing. But I don't know. I like those guys, and I'd, I'd willingly be part of it if I could. I, I really want to announce this other thing, but but I don't know that it's been made public yet. Oh, and well, it's regarding our GX. Then, if there's any question over whether it's a good idea, don't do it. Yeah, if we were recording not live, I would say something, but we're recording live, yeah. so I have to wait until next week to say yeah. something about it. It's true. But I already mentioned the ambassador program, and I know I already mentioned that Big Byte is applying for that. As soon as I'm not busy, I'm actually the one who's supposed to spearhead that initiative. Uh, that's not the thing I was going to say, so don't worry about that. That's not... Like, Tari, we said say don't that, say it, Joseph! I'm allowed to... Say that we want to do ambassador program, and what I'm going to say probably next week has nothing to do with the ambassador program. Okay. It's RTX related, though. All right, I, that's wow. all for me. You, you know, it was nice to catch up and tell you guys things, and I also recommended a really good MMO about Pokemon. So try it out. Pokemon Revolution Online or Pro yeah. is the abbreviation, as annoying as that is. Yeah. They have a Discord, but if you if you're not an, if you if you're on more than one Discord, it can be tiresome to keep track of the ones you don't care about. So don't bother. It's mostly for announcements or people talking about different things. Yeah. So I, I left the Discord. Bye bye. Bye bye Discord. <laughs> you can follow the Twitter account for updates if you want to. He's shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to jiggle your switch. So, come here often, baby. <laughs> <sighs> Nobody's thinking about anything. No, I'm not going to jiggle your dongle. <laughs> come on, on. Pull my dongle. Switch it. Flip it. Just flip. Go be such a baby. Anyway, I have a question, kind of a concern, kind of a. I don't know if you want to answer the question. I, I won't pressure you into doing so, but what is the plan for RTX and staying for you, Joseph? Oh, Jeez. you're referring to the fact that I can't afford the ever rising price of, of our group's housing that is a concern i have yeah i mean technically it's the ever rising cost of living in austin even for a short period of time it well i i had mentioned months ago when when uh we were we went from topping talking hypotheticals to all of a sudden we were being told we had to pay mm -hmm. that i wasn't going to be able to for a long time Mm -hmm. And then I I didn't I was just breaking even on judging so there was nothing I could do there yeah and then when I was reminded of the amount and the amount wasn't going down even though we were adding people it just didn't seem like it was going down significantly right uh, and then we were talking about you know we could add some people but there's couches but it would lower the amount to an affordable amount for me yeah and then the moment I dropped out the response I got was like two people saying okay we can replace you. And yeah, then immediately I started talking about filling up the couches and lowering the amount to an amount I could afford. I, I, I was really confused by that response because months back I had said we should just figure out what Joseph can afford and then split the difference between the rest of us. Because I don't think anyone else wants to. I don't know. Paying for a fraction of a person is better than paying for the entire person when no one shows up to fill it. Well, what fraction of me would you like? I, uh, maybe a thigh? <laughs> wishbone? See, that would, I mean, I'm not going to ask that of anybody. Like, I wouldn't stop you because I'm not that proud, but I'm not, not going to ask it of you. So I'm currently in a preliminary planning stage of making what Big Bite guys are calling the big house. But I would much rather work, make it work with you guys if that was possible. It's just the response was, OK, we can replace you and immediately replacing me with like three people. Yeah, I think when, we need to we sit. Talk about that. I think we need to sit I down. It. I think we need to sit down and talk with the organizer, you know, us and, and get that desire and what's workable figured out but that's what i wanted to know because it was sounding like if you're not going to be there then where are you going to be because this was one of the cheaper options <laughs> i honestly don't know there's a possibility that myself uh one of the big bike guys and two of his uh his, two of his griffball friends might just get a hotel i don't know but they, they were wanting me to head that up and i don't want to yeah, and so, hotels are ex exceedingly more expensive than what we're doing per person. Unless we're willing to drive in from, like, San Marcos, which uh, yeah. I did that when I was working South by. Okay, that sounds unpleasant, but you're right. That would be cheaper. It was a two-star hotel that actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> we were joking 
uh, about a hotel we stayed at. Um, when, when, I did, when I went to a judge conference, the regional judge conference a few weeks ago, and myself and Brandon, the two judges that we mentored, all drove together. But they, two of them wanted to drive early, early Saturday morning, and two of us were like, no. So I found us the Stabbing Special Hotel. The Stabbing you know, Special Hotel. Complimentary Stabbing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like $15 a person oh, God. And, uh, and for one night, and we made it work. And I think I found something similar to that for San Marcos. I think it was around 65 a person for um, – three nights and that was three of us splitting the hotel room so i might go that route and just drive in mm-hmm. but, but as i said many times before i would much rather just stick with what we've got going on right don't we, call, don't we call it the fun house uh, we called it something house didn't we we called it the boner lisa the boner lisa that's it yeah uh like oh, nothing lisa. against the big fat guys not that they're gonna listen to this but uh <laughs> If I have to head up the big house, I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> you come you come back to those guys the next day, and it's like, so we heard on the podcast, cracking knuckle noises, that you didn't want to be in the big house. I don't want to be in charge of putting it together. But if, if I have to, I know that San Marcos has a good hotel. It's only like a half hour out from the convention center. Yeah, and then you need a car and a parking space. Well, it's true, but... More doable than not going. Mm. But I appreciate you bringing it up. It's a good discussion, especially for anyone trying to go who's like, eh, I'll put off housing until the last second. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. <laughs> You're going to have a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> South Park me much? No. Yes. And it's gone. <laughs> I'm going to try to find one for Tree Fitty. <laughs> I owe you about Tree Fitty. We got about how many months left? Three. It's in three August. Three, yeah. I'm excited, guys. It's going to be a good time, and I'm going to be a specter. You guys are going to be guardians. Yeah. We just got to make this thing work. So I recommend, Joseph, that you and me and the organizer uh, sit down and have a you know, vocal discussion where we actually look at what the options are. The I'm organizer. I'm the trying organizer. not to call people out and name names here. We're not going to name his name. Yeah, don't do that. Do not talk about who he is. Or yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw a funny thing before we get the flip out of here. I saw a funny thing, or what? unless there was another topic we're going to talk about. It was um, like this, not millennial. I guess the kids going to college now are generation, what are they, generation Z at this point? I They're guess. Gen Z. Uh, so they had like a millennial dad or, or close to it. And he looks over, he's like, that sure doesn't look good on her, or him, or them. You know, I'm not. I'm not one to judge. It just doesn't look good on them. <laughs> it's like when you when you're almost one of the old dads trying to be woke. Yeah, and, and right. It's just you know, doing trying his darndest. What whatever the pronoun is, because I I'm too far away to ask or care. Um, no, interestingly, at my my Monday D and D group that I'm leading. Uh, Dip pulled that on me where they picked up a rock off the ground. They're like, "This is the this is the new captain of our squad." I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." They named it Dwayne because it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> because they're <laughs> amazing at stuff. And uh, and now one of them carries the rock around. And anytime I have an NPC asking what they want to do, you know, like they went to go stay at a hotel, and he's like, "Would you like this room or that room?" She actually asks the rock. Waits a few seconds and then says, Dwayne wants that room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, indeed. So they were texting me today and and they were talking about how, you know, the one player who wasn't there, they wanted him to, in fact, be the rock that had been somehow he had been transmogrified. And I'm like, that's just not going to work at this level. I'll figure something out. That's not going to fit in with the way the world works. And they're like, uh, I'm like, besides. Dwayne's probably the best captain this group has ever had, and I wouldn't replace him for anyone. And I went, him, it, it? And she goes, them. I'm like, great, now I have to ask the rock its pronouns. <laughs> the question is, Tristan, could you smell what it was cooking? I couldn't, thankfully. We were over the internet. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm certain it's burning. <laughs> by, by, by the way, Tristan, yeah. it, it's not... 
you wouldn't ask the rock its pronouns. You would ask the rock their pronouns. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, quit being so insensitive. Uh, Can I share a role playing story too? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my, so my D&D, well, my Star Wars RPG group, I call it D&D for anyone who doesn't understand role playing games. We introduced a new guy into the group. So from the get go, we've had we've had uh, my fellow judge and the guy who taught me Pokemon. And then since then, we added a guy playing a female Jedi. And he's been there almost since the beginning. I think he joined us when we were in the Hut Palace in Chapter 2, Episode 2. Sorry, Star Wars terms. Well, we have another Pokemon guy who joined the group. And he made a droid. This is like the third or fourth droid that's been made fourth fourth droid that's been made for this group and we have high hopes that he will be the first to actually stick around (laughs) the record so far has been two sessions and he's about to tie that record (laughs) he's been in one session we have high hopes for him (laughs) one more session and he he meets the record if he makes it to a session after that he has broken the record let's Set our sights low, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah like, then you're never disappointed. For that third session, oh and, man, uh, he's going to take everybody out. out for a fancy dinner. Well, I'm going to say it's hard to top his first session because okay. he made what he called a droidy boy. Because for a long time, a Pokemon uh, in the Pokemon group, we were calling everything you know what would win this big powerful dragon or one little guardy boy or one little peaky boy. That was just like the meme for like a month straight. So during that month which was before I was traveling all the time. So I wasn't around as much. He made a droidy boy and they were doing, and and I I want to reiterate that most of the material of what we're doing in this campaign was published by wizards of the coast online for a free PDF to show off saga edition. And people could do a storyline. That's a post episode three version of, I guess, rebels and uh, rogue one sort of idea. Okay. Yeah. So I anything I make up is just spur of the moment based off of what the players are giving me, mm-hmm. and we have a lot of fun with that. Like I make quirky NPCs who offer to remove faces and create realistic face masks with real faces on them. Oh, that sort of thing. You know, as you do. So they are in the middle of a heist sort of situation where they need to get the attention of a debutante in high society so they can get clearance code she has to go and rescue a Jedi master that's been kidnapped. Okay. Well, they're all in different parts of the party doing different things to get everyone's attention, get to know different guests, size them up and show off just how awesome this group of people are. So the debutante will invite them up to her room and party and, and hang out in her VIP area. Well, we've got one guy wiping the floor with all the Sabak players, including like seasoned admirals. We've got some other, someone else doing something else. I forgot what he was doing. And then we've got the robot, the droid, and he goes to the party, the dance floor. The dance floor. And this is all based off of options in the module for things he could do. But he goes up to the booth where the music is playing and rolls so high, he invents dubstep. He invents <laughs> dubstep by hooking himself up to the machine and just going wild and the crowd is going nuts he dives out makes a roll on the d20 dives out of the booth and crowd surfs then does a flip and starts break dancing no (laughs) the ladies are all over him and he gains the nickname sexbot 3000 no (laughs) I should have seen that one. He's not shaking that nickname ever. So we were, uh, we did the Pokemon pre-release this past weekend and I was running that as my last event as the Pokemon judge. And I said, Hey, Jonathan, we're going to see return of Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon. We're going to see the return of Sexbot 3000 next week. And he was like, I hope so. Mm -hmm. That's his name. We've had Rock'em Sock'em Robot. We've had Roger Roger. We've had basically the Bounty Hunter from Heck. And now we have Sexbot 3000. I mean, so is he an Astro Boy or a Protocol Boy or a Battle Boy? <laughs> I think he's a, a specific battle chassis. We've had three different versions of Battle Droid, but I think he's chosen to go with one of the heavy Battle Droid builds. Rock'em Sock'em was a factory droid with a high strength score. I see. Did he punch people? Roger, Roger, you know what that that was. He punched people really hard. (laughs) Roger, Roger was the basic battle droid that got used during the Clone Wars. 
Jump. And then we had, uh, I think we had an Elite Battle Droid, and then this is somewhere in between. No, we had an IG-8. That's what we had. And then now I think he's a, a, a straight up just like a, I don't know, he like disguises himself as a protocol droid most of the time. Good times. And then we've still got, you know, the morally ambiguous, ambiguous, ambiguous. And bugalous. The morally ambiguous scout. We've got the nothing can't be solved without grenades soldier. Like grenade solves all my problems. And then we have the looking the other way on a regular basis jedi (laughs) this is a very intriguing conversation i'm having in the opposite direction from whatever the fuck they're doing like when they were questioning the guy in the speeder oh no and the jedi was like we can't just kill him and and i was like you could just ask him what he's done for the empire and the scout's like i'm gonna do that i'm gonna ask him what he's done for the empire and he says you know well i did this one mission where i was supposed to assassinate this guy but his wife and kids were there too. And the joy, the Jedi's like, oh God, he just looks away, and he finishes this. I'm like, ten minutes later, he finishes. Oh, no. And the scouts are like, so uh, what are your goals? And what what are you? Why do you do all these things? He said, I I fight for the glory of the Empire. He's like, that's all I need to hear. And kicks him out the speeder. <laughs> You're not going to be the, able to torture him. There's a the pallet in prison. I has not let him forget about that. Oh, man. Like, yeah, you he'll post on his Facebook regularly with gifts of someone getting kicked out of a car and going, are we playing? Are we going to play Star Wars soon? <laughs> or, hey, look, someone was driving in your car. <laughs> you can't use torture to interrogate me, not with a pallet in prison. Hmm. Oh, look, such rustic yet interesting architecture. <laughs> I think I better go inspect it. <laughs> There's that a drop won't kill me. I'm counting on it. <laughs> such bad. Such bad. <laughs> the paladin always has to look away while the rest of the party does bad oh, things. <laughs> Not not so in our party with Riken. Riken's usually at the center of the bad things the party's doing. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> Hey. My character is the one who doesn't look the other way. He doesn't that's... do evil things. I didn't say evil. I said bad. I mean, like, he is was a lot of neutral. So. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll say, I left the group because of scheduling, but my character was not long for that group anyway. No, no. I even once it I... was not a, a good fit. Yeah. He joined hoping to become a hero. He thought that we were such great heroes saving the city and that he learned the truth. He was getting really teed off. <laughs> There's just a bunch of selfish assholes who they accidentally saved the city. <laughs> selfish assholes who killed members of the clergy and blamed it on a different faction. Oh, yeah. I'm still waiting for that one. Oh, it's like my character evil. was so mad because that was a deity he served mm-hmm. and also was morally just wretched. He, he was like... <laughs> In character, all I could think was, I'm leaving this group soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning them into the proper authorities, and I'm walking away. He gave serious consideration to it, except the mission we went on immediately after that was very important. Mm-hmm. Saving a city from siege was p- pretty important. Yeah. Well, you he might... give serious consideration. <laughs> you might be happy to know that they did succeed at that. That's good. They, the city did not fall. Its its situation is is still not great, but it's not dire anymore. So that's good. As they I recall, the mission the was oh, they probably already lost. We have to go rescue the royalty. Yeah, yeah. They um they inserted themselves into the siege, which I honestly, as a DM, did not understand how that was going to improve their ability to to stop what was going on. But they pulled something out of their butts, and uh, and the, and it eventually panned out at least well enough. Well enough to call us success. <laughs> what was Joseph? What was Alex saying? Uh, I was saying, but we've also killed a ne- the necromancer, which we can now blame for the attack on the clergyman. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped him. Yeah, well, it, again. Was that the necromancers that were trying to sacrifice the version of the group? Yes. The oh, okay. the one virgin, the one and only yeah, virgin in the she's entire the group. version of the group. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've we've before. all had lots of sex, right, guys? <laughs> huh? you, you know what <laughs> I'm talking about. It, <laughs> it was that one time with the girl who turned out to be my cousin, but whoa. Uh. 
too dark. Yeah. <laughs> too far. Everyone just looked at their shoes. <clears throat> and then novel he read about Vecna. <laughs> no, no we just. it was we just. Anything else before we do the thing that Malachi is good at telling us to do? Mm-hmm. No, I think we hit all the bases. I think we had a fun discussion. I wouldn't change a thing. All right, go see Avengers and try out Pokemon Revolution Online and play Hearthstone and make an awesome deck in the dungeon run mode. And yeah. go watch my video and also watch Tristan's live streams as they go up. And find people to play D&D. Yeah, play D&D. D&D, yes. I feel like we need to do something at RTX with D&D. Anyone listening who got excited by that thought, tell us, and we'll we'll set something up. We're going to do a thing. And Play I it. did a thing. <laughs> and players another time and I was dragons. right. Yes. Dungeons and players. Players. Players and we problems. Need another, it's P&P. Good <laughs> players and problems. Players and problems. I like that Don't one. We already have, wait, we already have a, a motto. Um, irreverence, Irrange. irrelevance, irresponsibility. I always that's, forget the third no, word. No, that's, that's not... Uh, but I was saying something for D&D instead of D&D. It's, we, we, players and problems. What about... Uh, what about... Uh, ooh, I can't words. Uh, Good night, everybody. Podcasts and... I don't know. Never mind. Good night, everybody. Podcasts and bleep. Hashtag. Hashtag goodbye. Hashtag goodbye. See what I did there? See what I did there? See what I did there?